All right, my friend, welcome to this next part of the Kajabi mini series. And today we want to take a look at how to create a, a membership and a community in your Kajabi backend. So I think this is really useful once you've already set up an online course or two, you've already shared your core method with your students. And now let's say they want access to you and they want that ongoing support. This is what you can give them through a membership and a community. So really quickly, the main difference is just that a membership is where you upload monthly content and resources that continue to add to their experience that they're paying for on a month by month basis, right? Online courses are usually one-time payments. They pay once for a course, they have access to it forever, for a year, whatever you decide, and they can go through it on their own time. But a membership is an ongoing living, breathing thing. So that's when you, uh, you, know, you, you consistently upload new stuff to it each month, which is what I do in my membership area. It basically built it out as a course product and I have monthly master classes with individual trainings. These are all sub modules within the, the monthly master classes module. And so each month I'm uploading a specific class to one of these three categories in our, uh, in our niche of composing music. And then underneath that, I have different things like my success path, different corners where people can collaborate, live call replays, um, member spotlights, uh, bonuses down here. So it's basically a course product with different modules and different lessons that I upload every so often each month. Then the community product is a separate product. It's not an online course, but it's actually a community forum. So if we take a look at that. Um, I set it up as an offer in the back end where if they purchase, you know, the Christmas Composing Community offer, they get access to both this community portion and the membership section together at the same time. And that's lo located within the offer level. But here you can quickly see the community is basically an online forum. So they can visit any of these circles, any of these discussion groups, share their thoughts. They can uh, have it within a specific circle if they want to post it from the feed feature. They can add files like, um, you know, images, videos, audio files, or PDFs, get feedback from other people. You can like their comments, heart, laugh, um, cry, whatever. And then you also have meetups, which are, you know, you can do monthly calls with your members weekly if you want to, but you, you, you basically have a live room feature. So you click that and then it, it you can use your webcam built into your computer. Um, and then after that, people can just simply join if they know you're going live. And then you can also do challenges as well. So here I have challenges that happen every single month <clears throat> and it basically it helps them to score to um, a, an image or a video. It basically keeps them entertained and gets them results. They can practice their chops in terms of composing. So I really like having a membership and a community because people that want to go deeper with you and they want that access to you, they can take advantage of that. And that's really, really important to have that ongoing access and support. And they can also DM each other, which is really cool. Um, you have notifications if someone likes your comments or replies to you, or they post a comment, like everything is, is, is laid out there. And then, yeah, I always link it together with my membership. So I say, oh, if you want to head back to the content portion of the membership, click right there. That takes me to the course section or the membership section where I have all my classes and stuff like that, as you can see. But if they want to go to the community, they can, they can click that. And then it opens up a new tab to go back to the community portion. So they can go back and forth very, very easily. That's the whole point. All right. Yeah. And yeah, in terms of actually how to build it, it's basically just building a course for the membership section and then building a community, which is you, you would uh, have an access group. Let me leave this meetup first. Um, but yeah, you, you would basically have what's called an access group. And that access group is who you want to join this community product. So you can have multiple access groups for your community. Maybe you have certain audiences that you want to split out, like some people who are more advanced than others, that they would be one access group. And then, you know, another access group could be beginners, for example. But for me, I just have one access group because everyone who comes into my community, we're all on the music making journey together. So that's how I personally think about it. So yeah, I would highly recommend having a membership and a community. And I've done plenty of videos on this channel. Uh, regarding how to technically set it up from scratch. So definitely check those out if you'd like, but um, I highly recommend having one if you've already built out a course and you want to expand further with your students and you want them to have that social aspect with one another and you want that community aspect, it's really great to have. And communities within Kajabi are very versatile and I really enjoy using it. So if you wanna check out Kajabi for yourself, and again, you're, if you're not a part of it just yet, they usually give you a 14 day free trial on their website. But if you use my link down below, christophercu.com slash Kajabi, I can get you an extended 30 day free trial plus two bonus mini courses, Kajabi in 30 days and content marketing for creatives, which will go through the entire business model I'm using 
to put out free content into the world and monetize my knowledge on the back end. So I really appreciate you watching. I'll catch you in tomorrow's video and I'll see you very soon. Take care.